And now we solve the same circuit with one controlled current source and one independent V source using the classic two test methods, the open circuit test and the closed circuit test. But we do that by hand. We are to find this voltage, the VOC at the port, the open circuit voltage at the port of interest, PQ, where we want to find the equivalent of the circuit, the Thevenin equivalent. To solve the circuit, we identify only two true nodes, the one at the bottom, that we will use as our reference, and the one at the top, which we will identify as node 1. What about this one? Well, because the port is open-circuited, P is a binary node, so no equation for that in our solution, even though we are really interested in the voltage of P with respect to Q, because that voltage is going to be VOC, the voltage we're looking for. We solve this circuit. The currents in each one of the branches are chosen like this. This is only one current, because this is only one RV branch between node 1 and the reference node. Remember, P is a binary node. No evil branch, there is one controlling variable Vx, and we write that controlling equation, CTL, for variable of Vx. Vx in terms of node voltages, etc., is just Vx is V1. That is our equation. Vx is just V1. And KCL for node number 1 is current going in, 3 times Vx, 3 times Vx going into that node 1 equals to the current coming out of that, which is V1 over 2, V1 over 2, plus the one in the RV branch, V1 minus 9 divided by 3 in series with 3 by 6. That systems of two equations and two unknowns give us the value for V1, and we solve it. This is the system of equations that we need to solve, and we solve it. V1 is negative 0 0.64 29 volts. But the voltage we need is VOC. How are we going to find that? Well, this voltage between Q and P is V at this source, 9 volts, plus the value of the voltage drop in this resistor of 3 ohms. How do we find the voltage in a resistor? Ohm's law. V equals Ri, 3 ohms multiplied by this current, and this current is the current in an RV branch. V1 minus 9 divided by 6, and V1 is known to be negative 0 0.6429. So, VOC is 9 volts going up from Q towards P, 9 volts, plus the drop in this source, how do I know it's plus and not minus? Because if the current's flowing like that, the voltage drop will have this polarity, and that voltage drop is going to be 3 ohms multiplied by the current V1, negative 0 0.6429, minus 9 volts, divided by 6 ohms. That is the current, and that is VOC. VOC is 4.1786 volts, and that is V7 as well, and that was the open circuit test. Now we go for the short circuit test. We short the port in question PQ using a wire like this. And we are to find what is the short circuit current in this short circuit and wire. We use MNA to solve it. First, we identify what two nodes we have to write equations. This wire has fused this binary node P to the reference node Q. So we have a reference node here at the bottom. Observe. All of this now, all of this now, 
is a node. Is the reference node of our circuit. And this is node number one. How many equations we have? There is no evil branch. There is a controlling variable Vx. We write it. CTL. X. Which is just Vx. Equals the node. Voltage V1. And KCL. For node number one. For this one. Currents going in. 3Vx. Equals. The current coming out of the node. V1 over 2. Plus, in this case, V1 minus, remember, this is also the reference, right? V1 minus the reference, 0 over 3. Those are the two equations with two unknowns, V1 and Vx, we need to solve. And the solution to that one is that V1 is 0 volts. You say, wait a minute. If this voltage is 0 because the voltage of the reference is zero, that means that the current in the three ohm resistor is zero minus zero divided by three is zero amps. Oh yes, that is correct. We still need to find the short circuit current in here. How are we gonna do that? As usual, we're gonna use a Gauss surface currents that go into this Gauss surface, zero. And this one equal to the current in the short circuit in Y, I short circuit. And this current here, let's call that X, is, it's an RV branch. Voltage of the origin, reference voltage, zero. Minus voltage of the destination, also the reference, zero. Plus the value of the source, nine, divided by three. So that current X is zero minus zero plus nine over 3. This is 3 amps. 3 amps. But KCL in this Gauss surface tell us 3 amps plus 0 amps means that the short circuit current is 3 amps. We are ready to go back and say if the open circuit voltage is 4.1786 volts and the short circuit current is 3 amps we know what is the value of V7. It's just VOC. It is just 4.1786 volts. And R7 is VOC, 4.1786, divided by I short circuit, 3 amps. 4.1786 divided by 3 amps. And that is... 139.29 ohms. To complete the exercise, we draw the Thevenin circuit, always with the source right side up and the resistance in series with it, all the way up to the port PQ. Our Thevenin 1.393 ohms and rounding it up v7 and 4.179 volts and that is our 7 equivalent circuit thank you very much